Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the August 2019 update for Adobe XD. Each month, the XD team rolls out an update to the program, and with that comes several new changes. So I like to make these videos to cover everything so you guys know what has changed in Adobe XD. So this month, we have four changes. So let's go ahead and dive right into the update. The first new feature we have this month is a pretty big one, edit in Photoshop directly from Adobe XD. So any image inside of Adobe XD, you can simply right click and select edit in Photoshop from this menu. And that will load that image up into Photoshop. So here I have the PNG that I'm using in my Adobe XD project, and I can use any of my Photoshop tools and make any of the adjustments I would like a normal Photoshop document. So if I grab a brush and just add a line over top of this face and I save that up, I can go back to Adobe XD and that change is made. One thing to note here, if you're not sure on these changes, just make sure you leave the Photoshop document open so that you can come in and undo or make further adjustments. Once you save this and close it, you can always open it back up, but you might not be able to remove things that you've done. So just make sure you leave that open in the background. So that is edit in Photoshop directly inside of Adobe XD. The second change or update this month revolves around the plugins panel. This was introduced in about an update or two ago. So in the bottom left hand corner, you can select this icon and that will open up the plugins panel. So now when we want to use a plugin, you'll notice that some of the plugins that are recently updated will allow you to have all of your information inside of the plugins panel, making this a better workflow and not having separate windows all over the screen. We can also drag this out and adjust the size of this if we need to. So everything is now inside of the plugin, nice and neat for those plugins who have already updated. And I would assume most plugins you probably use will be doing this and taking advantage of this in the future. From here, I can just use my plugin like normal. And now I have my avatar selected for my design. So that is a update for the plugins panel. The third feature this month is another big one. This introduces CSS snippets in design specs. So I've shared my project for development and I went ahead and opened that up in the browser. And here you can see all the design specs like normal. So now if we select one of these buttons, for example, you can see the CSS snippet here that I can copy and add to any text editor. I can also adjust things like the color code from hex to RGBA, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is a really good feature for development. It's brand new and I'm interested in hearing guys' feedback on this. So let me know what you guys think of the CSS snippets in the comments below. The fourth and final change to the program this month is improvements to component bounds. Previously, in other versions of Adobe XD, if I were to select a grouping like this, which is just a button, and I were to hit Command K or Control K on the keyboard to create this into a component, since I have this large drop shadow in the background, the bounding box around this element would have been something like this way out here, all the way around that drop shadow. And with this month, they've rolled out changes to now add the bounding box around the actual elements for easier aligning and working with components. So it may be a small change, but it is definitely a big one when working with components. So another great addition to this month's update. So with that, that is the August 2019 new features and changes to Adobe XD. So before I go, let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite of these four changes to Adobe XD? Also, if you want to give it a rating, feel free to rate it between one and 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the highest. Very interested in seeing what you guys think of this update. Personally, I think this update was a pretty fantastic one. I really love the edit in Photoshop capability. I work with those two programs quite a bit, and I think that's gonna speed up my workflow, which is always a plus for me. So that is it for this update video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design-related content, and make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.